name is Mario Lucero, I am a child coach. And today we are going to discuss about scrum ceremonies. Between them, we can find daily scrum, sprint review or demo, retrospective, release planning, and sprint planning. We started with a standard daily meeting. What is the purpose of the standard meeting? Each day at the same time, the team meets so as to bring everyone up to date on the information that is vital for coordination. Each team member briefly describes any completed contribution and any obstacles that stand in their way. Usually, Scrum's three questions are used to structure discussion. What did you do this yesterday? What will you do today? And are there er any impediments in your way? Following, we continue with a sprint review or demo. During a project using agile management methodologies, you hold periodic sprint reviews, meeting to review and demonstrate the user story that the development team completed during the sprint. The sprint review is open to anyone interested in reviewing their sprint accomplishments, and this means that all stakeholders get the chance to see progress on the product and provide feedback. We have to choose a meaningful, relevant theme, other duties uh, compelling to the people attending the review, and the mouse, the last but not least, product owner must be present because he represents the business. Other Scrum meeting is retrospective. Retrospectives play a crucial role in Scrum teams. They are the time specifically put aside to reflect on how the team is performing and what can be done to improve. During the retrospective team, reviews what went well, keep, and what went poorly, improvement. When mentioning improvement, it means that for each issue, team has to write action items, voting for them, and the best action items will be recorded to be examined in the next retrospective. Another important meeting is release planning. Releases are usually the result of multiple sprints on concentrated development effort, and they offer market moment of market or business, or customer impact. How does release planning support agile principle? Well, breaking down barriers, the business and stakeholders and developers all plan together. Interactions between people in a Scrum, when we do release planning, we well get all of the people who are involved into a room, so they can interact. Iterative and incremental. In a Scrum, we do everything iteratively and incrementally. We do release planning once, usually near the beginning of the release development, and then again and again as needed. The purpose of release planning in a Scrum is to make visible as much as is known about the desired release. Its purpose is not to make commitments in the hour to demonstrate, to deliver software. Well, I hope you enjoy the, the discussion about the ceremonies of meeting in Scrum. My name is Mario Lucero, I am a child coach. They are my personal data. My I blog on marilucero.cl. Enjoy.